mattress. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna sharpen my chef knife. So I'm gonna. I haven't sharpened this one yet. So it's got a kind of a store bought or factory or in this case artisanal angle. I'm gonna put my personal angle that I like on a chef knife, a little shallower. I'm gonna soak my stones for a little bit. Just pull them out of this water bath and I'm nice and wet. Don't want this hand all wet though because I don't want a slippery knife. So Sharpening a knife. You want a nice flat stone. You want this whole thing to be nice and sturdy. You don't want anything slipping around anywhere. So I always got a wet rag under here. Um, and in this case, um, I'm not going to do a nice, this, that's, this angle like a 45 or something like that. That would be for a cleaver, an axe or something. A lot shallower, that'd be for a fillet knife. This is a chef knife, a little more utility. So I'm, something around here, it's probably like 30 or 25 degrees or something like that. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do though is putting pressure down um, on the heels. So I'm grabbing the knife and pointing pressure on the blade. I'm just gonna start pulling towards me. And I'm gonna count 10 strokes here. That's three, four, 10. And I can already see when I look at the blade it's a totally different angle than this side. It's a little wider, a little more metal exposed there. Um, I'm going to switch this angle and I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to do 10 swipes there. I think that was 10. It's either 10 or 11. I might have lost count. That's okay though. No, it's okay. We're early in the game. It's okay. So, go back to the other side. Do the same thing again. I'm going to do 9 strokes this time. And you want to draw all the way to the point of the knife here. And depending on your finishing angle on the tip, whether if you're here or here, is going to determine if your tip is really pointy and sharp or kind of rounded. So I think that's about five, six, seven, eight, nine. Same thing over here. One. Keeping the stone nice and wet. I'm gonna go ahead and inspect the edge. I wanna make sure it's nice and even. And since you just ended on nine strokes one way, one of your edges, so I was sharpening this way, so it's a little rolled over, you can feel it. One side feels smooth and one feels the side was rough because the blade is rolled over. And that's why you're going both sides, both sides, both sides, both sides. So I'm just gonna do a few strokes here. One, two, three. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate my stone. Because I want to have even wear on the stone. How much pressure are you putting? I'm putting maximum pressure as far as at any point of sharpening the knife. So in the beginning, I'm putting a lot more pressure than when I go to this grit. So the next, to the next, to the next, I'll apply less and less and less pressure. Um, you don't, you're not digging it in there. I'm sure we can figure out a unit for how much pressure I'm putting on, and it's going to vary between your stone and the metal and the angle and all that good stuff. But there's no reason to put a lot of pressure on. You just want a little bit of resistance. And you're grinding away metal, so you want to give it just enough pressure to do that. I notice your wrist is pretty stable um, both ways you go. Your wrist is always completely stable and your arms aren't doing much moving, you know? It's very fluid movement and it's very important not to probably move your wrist and your fingers yep. and things. Yeah, it's very important to not to use every joint you have because when you do that you're going to end up with multiple angles and what that's going to mean is you can sharpen your knife for two days straight and you'll never have a sharp blade because what you're trying to do is you're trying to have some consistency with this angle and this angle meet up at a nice point and not this one be round and this angle be round and if I start rotating the knife uh, the sharpening angle the edge angle like this what you end up with is instead of two nice points that meet up you end up with like a rounded blade you always just keep rounding and keep rounding and keep rounding the other thing that I work on with chef knives, because I always like to have a nice little point, is I usually work that little point just 
a little bit. You have to pick it up and get a different angle at it. And this, I'm not pushing a lot of pressure at all. So I like to have a nice little razor sharp point there. That's enough for the 220. A bit of rinse. Wipe off the knife. Move to the next one, which is 1000 grit. So this one's going to even sound a little different. A little quieter, a little smoother. It's because it is finer material. Over so I'm adding a little less pressure than the first stage. I'm just making sure I'm starting at the point. Ending on the tip, starting on the point, ending on the tip. Some mistakes I've seen people do is just rub here and then do this. And that works if you really want to wear it down quick. But what happens is you end up with um, usually a lot of flexibility in the angle there. It really doesn't matter if you do this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle. That'll just change how durable your edge is. What matters is... if this stroke is the same as this stroke in the same angle this time, this time, this time, this time. It's, everything goes out the window if each stroke has a different angle. It's all gone, so you're not working towards anything. The other thing I, you want to make sure you do is um, sometimes depending on how, this is a pretty thick blade, on the more flexible blade I'm putting more support on the fingers, but I'm oftentimes keeping any fingers I'm not using totally out of the way. So I'm lifting these guys up. I got my thumbs and my fingers in the air. I just don't want them in the way because this blade is getting sharper and sharper and sharper. Do you ever use your thumb or anything as like a spacer to see how high your knife is? In the back? Consistent angle all the time, yeah. uh, they have little clips that people put here and then sometimes uh, people you can tape a penny or a dime mm -hmm. so you can drag on that. I don't do that because it just scratches up your stone, yeah. grinds everything up and kind of messes it up. I think it doesn't it doesn't really take a lot of practice to have some consistency in your angle. Mm -hmm. I mean and if you're even somebody who's been doing it forever, I mean my angle's gonna change just a teeny 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 bit. Yeah. But you know, as long as you're pretty damn close, you're gonna have a sharp knife in the end. Alright, so let's get back to this and go I'm just gonna start back at like let's say three because I forgot what I was doing. I forgot my count. And I'll finish with the Bunch of singles here. Rinse that. I like to try to finish on a nice clean stone. That way I know I'm not just grinding between a paste of the knife's metals. There, I'll call that good there.